Hey, this is Chuck. Today I'm going to install a 6 inch riser block on my Jet 14 inch bandsaw. In doing so, I'm going to increase the resaw capabilities up to 12 inches. So I'm looking forward to doing the project, and thanks a whole bunch for watching. Directions. I don't know anybody that reads those. Okay, there's an awful lot of styrofoam, but this is what we've got plus the blade. All right, before I get going any further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the uh, dust collection hose. I'm going to unplug it, and I'm going to take the existing 93 and a half inch blade off that's on it right now. I just wanted to mention that before I could take the saw arm off, I had to wrap it a couple of times with rubber mallet. This actually kind of loosened it up from the aligning pins and made the removal quite easy. I also cleaned my workbench off so I had some place to set it until I was ready to put it back on the saw. By the same thing, if you're able to make sure that you've used the riser block and the saw arm when you put it back on and align those with the alignment pins, it's going to make it a lot easier for you. couldn't get this to go no matter how hard I try. So I'm going to come up from underneath and set it up that way. Where are you? And it should be just fine now. And I've got this pushed all the way to the back side of that in the same way that you found the other one. So I'll go ahead and I'll get these 26 millimeter wrenches which are actually Chuck's adjustable wrenches. And we'll go ahead and we'll um, set her up. Alright, the direction said you needed a 15 16 wrench. And I, I did actually have one. And I was able to take the original bolt and nuts off with that and an adjustable wrench. Now the book is telling me that I need a 26 millimeter combination wrench. Now I'm sure that everybody in America has got one but me. But I don't have it. And it turns out it really doesn't matter because the nut and the bolt are different sizes anyway. So I don't know which one would be the 26 millimeter. I did find this old wrench here which was left over from like a 1973 Honda 350 I used to own and it actually works on the nut. It fits the size of the nut. So what I'll use is the adjustable wrench to hold the bolt head and then I'll tighten it down from the nut from here because there's really not a lot of room to work inside this little section right here. Alright, that's 
just about as tight as I can get it. Okay, now that we have the arm back on the new riser block, it's time to go ahead and put the blade guard in. They've actually given us a really nice one to go with this expansion. It's a nice metal one. It's, a, in my opinion, a lot better than the plastic one that came with the original equipment. We're basically going to put it right onto these mounts right here. And then we'll just screw it back in with the brackets. Our switch box is next. We're only going to have two screws to do it, and it's important not to try and mount it in the original holes. We're actually going to mount it into the riser block itself. The lock washer's in through here on the top. Alright, so the directions want me to put the new guide post right on top of here and then bring it down and keep it taunt and in doing so I won't have any problems with the spring or with the ball bearing falling out. After we get the new guide post in, what we want to do is tighten the set screw that's underneath the adjusting knob. What this will do, it will put a bit of tension on through the uh, guide post so that when you loosen it, it won't just clang and just fall through. So it just puts a little bit of resistance onto that. Alright, we're going to put the upper blade guide assembly up to the guide post right now. I'm using that 10 millimeter wrench again. And what I want to try and do is make sure that I've got it straight to the front as much as I can and I look like I'm there so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure I've really got this snug down good and tight. Okay I'm still using the 10 millimeter wrench and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install the blade guide assembly now. Okay we finished with the saw now from the riser block kit and it's time to go off and install the blade. The kit actually comes with a blade that's a generic blade. It looks like a 6 TPI, 3 8 inch. Um, I'm not going to use that. I actually have a, uh, a Timberwolf blade. It's a 6 TPI, 3 8 of an inch also. I think it's going to be a better blade. It's a nice all-purpose blade. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now. And then we'll be ready to turn the saw on and run it. Well, we all know a good rule of thumb when working with a uh, bandsaw blade is to wear gloves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set this up and get the tie wraps off it. Then I'm just going to go ahead and actually drop it onto the floor. Then we'll put it in and we'll take it in from there. There we go. Nice sound, huh? So we ran it through the table. I've got it on the upper tire. We'll set it up to the bottom and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the adjustments for it. And I don't see any movement at all on the blade. It's staying center. And what we want to do now is just check, make sure we're getting the same on the bottom wheel. All right. I have the blade tracked and the preliminary tension done. And before I put the final tension on this Timberwolf blade, I'll go ahead, I'll put the table insert in and finish it up with the table pin. set, the adjustments are all done, and even for an old guy like me, it was not a difficult one-man uh, project to go off and do. Just be safe, and let me just show you one thing that I did do to kind of help myself out. Just as a final note, I'm not very tall, I'm just a shade over five foot six. so for me to go off and effectively remove the, um, the bandsaw arm, I needed to use a, uh, a mounting block, if you will, otherwise I really wouldn't have been tall enough to got the leverage that I needed. So in the video, when you saw me taking that off, you may have noticed me standing. And I stood on the first level of this, which is about six inches up. That gained me at the height I needed to get the leverage to lift it off. 
Once it was off, it wasn't heavy. It was only probably, my guess is around 30, 35 pounds. And an old guy like me, I really didn't have any difficulties with it at all. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it and we'll look forward to our next project.